it is December 6, 2017. I will link below to uh, one of these videos. It's a series, Tom Bearden talking about scalar wave technology. And if you've not seen these videos, um, well, if you have interests similar to mine, you might want to watch it. This technology that we have, that Americans refuse, our fellow Americans, our friends, our families, they refuse to even check it out, do any kind of research. It's really sad. It's sad to see so many adults who have chosen willful ignorance and who have really chosen to remain children. So when we try to talk to them about these subjects, they respond to us not like they're in seventh grade, more like they're in fourth or fifth grade. They call us names. They, they say we're paranoid or crazy. As adults, they should, it should dawn on them that when we are talking to another adult, when we talk to another adult, and we are talking about subjects that they have never researched themselves, you would think that they would know that, hey, someone is telling me about something that I've never checked out, I don't know, so I need to do some research to find out what this person is talking about and then have a discussion with them about it. No, that does not happen anymore. It, which is really uh, frightening, sad, and I agree with all of those subscribers who have left comments saying, yeah, it is the people, our fellow Americans, who are allowing this nightmare to continue and to get darker and darker. Thank you. Thank you for recognizing that, no, it's not those evil, psychopathic, crazy people, the elitist, the globalist, the truly evil who are causing all of this destruction that we need to focus on. Yeah, they're the enemy, but our true enemy are the people that we are surrounded by every single day who will not face the truth about what is happening here in our country. Now, even if you don't want to watch this, I hope that you download these videos, put it on an external drive. Why am I saying that? I'm saying that because, wow, Google. Okay, Google absolutely controls search engines. I stopped with Google when suddenly, and this was years ago, when I suddenly realized I am not getting, you know, the kind of searches any longer that I, I need from Google. Though years ago, it was still giving me results that were based on the keywords that I entered in the search bar. I started using Start Page. Then suddenly I noticed Start Page was not giving me the results that I thought that I should have been getting. So I did a comparison between Google and Start Page and using the same keywords and realized, wow, Start Page has given me pretty much exactly the same results. Start Page near their search bar, well, right to the right, it says Enhanced by Google. Many search engines have been taken over by Google. And lately, well, even just in the, in the past week, I have done searches, and I am really horrified to see that I am getting almost nothing related to the keywords. Now, I just did Tom Beard and Scalar Weapons. I should have come up with his website, but, and that's what happened years ago, no longer. No longer. And in fact, now I have tip, search for English results only. Uh, <laughs> I never saw that before. So I have results in foreign languages. And let's see, search for English results only. 
This is it. This is it. Okay. Um, earlier, I was doing a search just for scalar weapons. An army of 10,000 first graders is attacking. Most have no weapons. This is, I guess, a game. Came up with a couple of videos here, but then it goes into what? Uh, I don't even know. What what are these search results? Years ago, when I did when I did research on these weapons, directed energy weapons, scalar weapons, uh, microwave frequencies being used as weapons, I got pages and pages and pages of results. Uh, now I get some games. All right, uh, Google is putting down the memory hole, the vital information we need to understand the reality that we are living. They are doing away with the truth. So please, please hear this. The information that you come across that you know is important, could you print it out, get a hard copy of it? Could you download these videos and put it on an external hard drive? The PDFs, download them. And don't just keep it on your uh, hard drives on a computer. Get it on an external hard drive where only you can have access to that. The younger generation, they need to come across this information. And they are doing away with it. This is the world that we are living in now. The fires. Somebody left a comment. Holy Diver, I believe, left the comment, and I'm paraphrasing, that don't be surprised if a fire breaks out in, bet in between Ventura and Los Angeles or close to Los Angeles. California fire blaze breaks out near Getty Center in Los Angeles. Bel Air has been evacuated. Yeah, my computer is really pretty bad. Um, well, this is supposed to be Google Map. We're sorry, but an error has occurred. Please reload the page. Okay. Reload now. Let's reload. 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 Oh. Okay. Um, Bel Air has been evacuated. Ventura? The fires are up here. The fires have uh, broken out. And now they call them the Thomas Fire, the Creek Fire, the Rye Fire. Uh, St. Paula, or is it Santa Paula? No, it's St. I don't know. But uh, that is um, northwest of, or northeast of Ventura. Now the fires. Um, in Ventura? Did the fire just so rapidly spread to Bel Air? Or are new fires breaking out? But this is very close to Los Angeles. Bel Air. Those Christians who love it that the homos and the rich men are being burned, you'll be happy that Bel Air is now on fire. Bel Air, extremely wealthy area. And that's what's prompted my search. This, uh, the fire breaking out in Bel Air, and the New York Times writing that the fires are being driven by high winds, which are expected to strengthen through Wednesday and Thursday with gusts of 60 miles per hour, making firefighting conditions much more difficult. So my needing to prove everything that I say. I did the search on scalar weapons because I remember years ago it was on Tom Bearden's site that I came across uh, information that the use of this scalar wave technology they can create extremely destructive winds but I couldn't find it. Um, and God, these sites that just have these windows popping up all over. Um, all right, so 
The winds sustained 60 miles per hour. Uh, I received more comments from subscribers who live in California in the SoCal area. They saying, this is not Santa Ana winds. What they are experiencing there, very, very unusual. The winds, Santa Ana winds, in December? No. So, those adults in California who know that this is not usual for this time of year, don't you think that that would beg questions in their minds, like what the hell is happening? Don't you think it would beg questions in everybody's mind? How is it that only eight weeks ago, we had the exact same story coming out of mainstream media, only different names, different places, and different people being the victims of these fires. But essentially, they're hearing exactly the same thing. Starts at night, high winds, uh, dry conditions. And yet, mainstream media has already told them that they can make rain. They can make rain. Okay, mainstream media has already said, that we have the technology to make rain. Americans even know that weather weapons were used in Vietnam, that we caused torrential rainfall in Vietnam. And yet they look at us as if we're crazy when we say, well, why? Why have they let these fires continue when they can make rain? Why, when we have a military and they can use a fleet of uh, planes to put out these fires. Why aren't we doing that? No. I guess it's fear. Children, children, never, ever, ever do they want to acknowledge that the people that they rely on for their survival are evil or are committing evil acts or are treating us in a way that we know is bad, we get traumatized, but we never ever want to face that those who we depend on for our survival may actually be killing us. Adults never come out of that stage anymore. Most don't. So we are dealing with children. I don't care how many wrinkles they have on their faces. I don't care that they look like adults. We are dealing with children who can't handle the truth that their own government is destroying them. And because they won't handle that truth, more and more people have to suffer the consequences of what is war. What is war? Now, the New York Times in their article continue to say, oh, 150 structures, two days of fires, uh, rapidly spreading fires, and the New York Times still is reporting at least 150 structures. You got to, you have to kind of wonder if AI is not writing these articles when you come across the exact same facts that they reported soon after the fire started. When we've heard from fire officials that hundreds of homes have been taken out quickly in neighborhoods in this area. When, when you have other publications that are writing hundreds of homes have been destroyed some 150,000 are living in evacuation areas. This is only going to continue. It's going to get worse. Hold on. This, this road that we are on, it's going to be so heartbreaking. It's going to be, the support is necessary. Unfortunately, many of us don't have any support whatsoever in our real life. So we rely on one another here in cyber world. And while <laughs> that's very hard for me, I thank God that we have each other here. I thank you all 
for the supportive comments that you left underneath my videos yesterday. And I thank you for thanking me for the support that I give you just based on my sharing feelings that you guys are having. This is absolutely necessary. And so many people are, need, are in need of help. They are so in need of help. So I hope that everybody in these areas really reaches out and tries to help everybody here that are this new group of Americans suffering the consequences of the war that we are in. And we are the enemy, unfortunately. Wildfires are turning Southern California into embers and ash. Now, three fires are devastating Southern California, Ventura, Santa Ana, counties with flames, and now Bel Air, you know, and they had a, one of these articles had a picture here, you know, am I going to be posting videos now on all of the people who are just standing there, pictures of people standing, facing, facing the home that is no longer there, losing everything. These fires are so abrupt at night, and people just flee their homes. Then I have people writing comments saying, well, they shouldn't be living in these areas. Holy Jesus. These areas hardly ever got, you know, this kind of fire. I love it. That mentality. Blame the victim. We've got to... We really have to rid ourselves of that psyche because that psyche was manufactured, socially engineered to be inculcated in the American mind. And don't the psychopaths love it? The malignant narcissists, they love it. They love it. Evil people love when other people blame the people they take out, the people they destroy. They love it when they get support from other people who turn around and blame the victim of that evil. That's got to stop. I'll link below to these articles. Yeah, it's a hard time. I do hope that everybody, all of you, are staying safe, are feeling okay, are hanging in there. Ciao, guys.